everyone hello so um, in this video we will be going to cover a specific game mode um not really a game mode uh, it's let's say it's more of a source of power and there is no clear guidance i didn't really find a clear guidance or a clear like let's say advices about how to upgrade it for majority of players that's why it was demanded for me many times in the comments and so on and it's about the hero codex okay um as we all can see, the system is pretty clear and easy, like five stars green, then go to the blue, five stars blue, then purple, then orange. Pretty clear system, right? But that's not for sure what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about how to get the best possible amount of power for your team through this thing. And for sure, it's not by upgrading everything, because I know some players who are um, let's say um, getting this codex thing, uh, like raising it to to like compete in this rank in the codex ranking, and um, that's the dumbest thing to do. Don't try to do that because the concern is your arena ranking or um, brawl ranking. It's not um, the hero codex ranking. That ranking gives you nothing. It doesn't give you any reward. You don't get anything from competing in it. It's just a stupid spending competition to make you spend randomly on the codex groups. But the purpose is your arena, your brawl, world map, your teams. That's the purpose, to get yourself more power and be more effective in the game. So, um, how to raise the codex properly or how to get the best benefit from the codex to your heroes? First of all, um, there are like 36 groups over here. So what you're going to do is simply go to the um, arena and check your team. It's very easy, right? The biggest amount, sorry, um, the codex group which include the biggest amount of your heroes. As example, the codex group which include all my heroes is the legendary alliance. So I am starting with it. So I made it orange one. So, after making it to orange 1, should I make it to orange 5? The answer is no. Alright? The purpose right now here is to unlock the fourth status. You see, the orange color gives you one status. Blue color gives you two status. Three colors, uh, like the purple color, give you three status. The fourth color, the orange, gives you the fourth status. The purpose here is to reach the, f the orange color to unlock the fourth status, okay? Because that is the real deal of power, not the small increase of the status after raising it. As example here, the increase will be low after advancing it, like two armor penetration, 30 ability power, kinda low compared to unlocking it from purple color to orange color. So, after getting the legendary alliance, which is my main codex group to the orange one level, I will start looking for the second group which include my heroes and make it to orange level so the second group which include my arena team is that i can fly group what i'm going to do is simply start making it to the orange level to unlock the critical resist level the fourth status after that i can fly i will check the next codex group which include the biggest amount of my heroes and make it to orange level as well um once you get like the main heroes of your team fulfilled with the codex, as example, like let's say my Theresa or my Vortex um, here, let's say I got all those to orange, I can start raising them then to orange, two orange, three stars, orange, four stars, five stars. It's up to you at this point. But the thing is, the codex groups which you are going to use in your arena team must be at one orange star but if you are at a high level of spending I as example here or here make it to five stars so as example here he's not joking five stars everything but um, he's doing it kind of randomly here it's more organized like one star to the heroes which like our list they used, then five stars to the important heroes groups and so on, more organized, okay? So um, 
that's how you should raise it properly. <clears throat> and at high level of power, you will realize that the codex gives one hero 10,000 raw power. Okay? Um, it's not on this account, but I saw it that um, the hero which have the, all the groups at orange 3 or orange 2 got 10,000 raw power. At this level, if you got like one orange, uh, one purple, and the rest are blue, you get like 3,000 or something. Yeah, 3,000. So basically, for the whole team, it's like um, 15,000 or 20,000. Pretty good amount of power. And it's not hard to gain it. So get the best of it and raise your heroes properly. The purpose is not to compete here. It's not here, the purpose. Like, it's not to compete here. The purpose is to compete here, to compete in the world map. That's the purpose. Okay? It's not about um, just competing in something which you are not even sure that you are getting something from, like, getting a reward or something from competing there. It's not even a thing which worth your attention. Okay? So um, that's all about this video. It's about the codex, how to raise it. And so on to give you more examples as example if you are using like let's say um a team like this guy say the lucifer west coco smoke you can see clearly that the codex group which is including the biggest amount of his heroes is the kung fu group so obviously with my mindset he will raise the kung fu group first five stars kung fu group Five stars legends, legendary group. You see the codex group which is not using, like the ones which is not um, used for him, are just at blue level or at purple level. Okay, that's how it goes. The most important concern is your arena team and brawl team. That's it. So um, that's all for the video. Click like so it will be recommended to other players and uh, subscribe for more videos. And you might want to tell me your thoughts also about um, what kind of videos do you want to see in the near future. And um, that's all. Let me know your thoughts about the codex. If you have a different style of upgrading it, I would love to know. Um, and that's all. Um, thank you for watching.